Am I placing my extender wrong? Most people are and it's killing their Wi-Fi speed. Today, I'll show you 5 best placement tips and exactly where to put your Wi-Fi extender so you get full bars in every corner of your home. Hey guys, welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn some of the best Wi-Fi extender placement secrets for faster internet. Not just that, in the end of the video, I'll tell you one pro tip that will boost your Wi-Fi like Koenigsegg Absolute. So let's get started. First, let's quickly learn what are the factors that can interfere with your Wi-Fi speed. So your extender's range can be limited by the number of walls in between the extender and the router, their thickness and material used. Also, the background radio frequency emitted by radio, TV, cell phones, base stations, radar, microwaves, ovens, and wireless devices, etc. can interfere with your extender. So let me share with you all the best 5 tips to increase the Wi-Fi coverage and speed of your extender. First, minimize walls and ceilings. Think of Wi-Fi like your voice. If you shout in an open room, everyone can hear you clearly. But if you shout through three walls, your voice gets muffled. The same happens with Wi-Fi signals. Now, what to do if you have multiple walls? For instance, if your extender is in the living room and your laptop is upstairs behind two walls, then your signal could drop by 50% or even more. So moving the extender closer to the staircase where there's fewer barriers can instantly boost performance. Secondly, pay attention to the angles. So Wi-Fi sees walls differently depending on the angle. A thin wall straight on is easy for the signal, but at a diagonal, the wall feels much thicker. Let's understand this with an excellent example. So imagine trying to shine a flashlight through a wall. Straight on, it just passes through one surface, and at an angle, the light has to travel through a much bigger chunk of material. Wi-Fi works the same way. So place your extender so the signal travels directly through the wall and not at a slant. Third, watch out for building materials. Some materials are Wi-Fi friendly while others are like kryptonite for your signal. So drywall wood and open doorways are okay, but metal and concrete are tough barriers. And if your extender is next to a solid metal garage door, then your Wi-Fi may barely reach the driveway. But if you place it near a drywall with a window or open doorway, then the signal flows much more easily. Fourth, stay clear of electronics. So many household devices create invisible noise that can drown out your Wi-Fi. Like microwaves, big TVs, and even speakers can interfere. So if you put your extender right next to the microwave in the kitchen, every time someone heats up food, your Zoom call or Netflix stream may lag. So moving it just six feet away like on a hallway table, can solve this problem instantly. Finally, the fifth tip is to avoid 2.4 GHz interface. Now, older devices like cordless phones, baby monitors, or smart switches often run on the same frequency as Wi-Fi. So all these devices compete for space and slow down things. For example, if your router is next to a cordless phone base, then your Wi-Fi may drop every time someone answers a call. So placing the router on a different table away from that phone prevents signal clashes and keeps your internet stable. Same applies for your Wi-Fi extender. So place it bit away from appliances that can interfere. Now, as I promised, here's a quick pro tip for you all. So as we all know, Wi-Fi signals naturally gets weaker as it travels farther. So that's where your extender's wired mode comes in handy. Most modern Wi-Fi extenders can also work in access point mode, which gives you the fastest speeds possible. All you need to do is run an Ethernet cable from your router's LAN port directly into the Ethernet port on your extender. Then just follow the simple setup process and you are good to go. This way, you will bypass the signal loss over the distance and enjoy a rock-solid connection. 
and if you would like step by step instruction on setting up your extender in access point mode we have got a full video on our channel walking you through that process all right friends that's it for today's guide i hope this helped you understand how to get the best performance out of your wi-fi extender remember little things like placement angles and avoiding interference can make a huge difference in your signal strength and if you found this video helpful please go ahead and hit that like button it really supports the channel and don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you never miss out our latest tips and setup guides for routers extenders and all smart wi-fi gadgets and hey if you still have questions drop them in the comments below i do read them and try my best to help you out so thanks for watching and staying connected and i'll see you in the next video take care have a blessed day